Give me some room. I've got an ego and I'm going to use it. I'm Craig Charles. And as Dolly Parton once said, if you want the rainbow, you've got to put up with the rain. But as my old dad used to say in the 60s, that Dolly Parton had a lovely pair of hits. I will always love you and I can't remember the other one. Anyway, this is the game show to end all game shows. This is Takeshi's Castle. And hey, we are coming up to the square maze. We're making a landing on Dragon Lake. We're going down the uphill garden. And we're shooting our way to the final showdown. Get motivated, folks. It's Takeshi's Castle. The fetching lady's favourite General Lee sykes up and instructs his 100 brave battlers for the war games ahead. They're going to try and storm Count Takeshi's castle. They'll have to hide, slide and nip on collide their way through the torturous trials put in by the Count himself. Will we see a winner at the end? General, come on. Give the war cry! We're off! Let's start with the Great Wall. No rhyme or reason required here, just good old-fashioned height. The rules are simple, but so are the contestants. You have to get over the wall as best you can. He brought a ladder. This has been planned. This is a jailbreak. Over the wall and you're through. There's a hundred contestants, only 88 places in the next round. Oh, I can't believe he's going through. It's not dressed like that. Looks like Mick McManus. An old-fashioned wrestler from the 70s, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> that was pathetic! Oh, go on, try again. <laughs> You're having a laugh! <laughs> oh my gosh, he's through, can you believe it? Doesn't deserve it. Does not deserve it. I've got to see this though for my ridiculous replay. Oh dear, oh dear. We do get some really pants contestants sometimes. He's through though to the square maze. Rules of the game get through the maze, avoid the guards. <laughs> From this angle, he looks like a hamster in an experiment. Oh! No, no, wrong door! He tried to body swear for the guards, but the guards weren't having it. Gave him a kick in. Black handed. Black hearted. Black out. You're out the game, mate. I think those shorts are comfortable. Is there enough space in them shorts? Do you think they allow him to breathe? <laughs> the guards aren't going to let him breathe, though. He's out the game. Come on, matey, you've got to start giving it a bit of speed. Oh, yes! Goal! Sorry, got a bit Brazilian on you there. Come on, lad, you can do it. Oh no, 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 no. Oh, don't confront them. Hide from them. <laughs> 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 
They're laboratory rats, and you are the cheese, young man. Try and avoid being supper. Oh, he got through, did he? Yes. Bye bye. Well done, lad. Oh, they caught him there! It's a great game, this! Oh, yes, he gave him the slip. Oh, he walked right into that door! <laughs> right in the nose! You can see him holding it! Lad's doing well, though, yes! Yes! Holding his nose and his mouth! He got a right whack, but he's through! Oh, no, 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 you're caught black handed. This is just a kid. You can't pick on him, I'm not having it. Maybe this will make a man out of him. Has to avoid the guards. They're big lads. Oh dear. Yeah, well done. Oh, go on, lad, you can make it. Come on. Where are you going? You're going the wrong way. Not now. Oh, no, the guard's changed his mind and is coming back. Oh dear. They're just toying with this young lad. Not quite sure if he knows where he is now. He's been going around so long here. He's gotta be getting confused. Oh, he nearly rode to the guard, but he's away again. Good turn of speed. Are they gonna put this kid out of his misery? Or is he gonna make the decisive break? Not sure. Oh dear, I just didn't realise that this was a 90 minute game. Come on, yes! Go! Sorry, getting a bit Brazilian again. Of course, you have the one guard there, hogging the middle. Oh no, don't want to go that way, did you? No, you didn't, you silly little fool, yeah. Oh no, he's going the wrong way, he's going the wrong way. The black-hearted, black-handed guards blacken his face and his reputation and send him packing. No, no, yes! Well done, lad. Skip through to safety, but you've got to see this for my ridiculous replay. What the... Spunky Speed Merchant. We'll see him in part two, where more contestants will be sinking and skipping stones, and there'll be more impressions of Tarzan in Dragon Lake. As my old dad used to say, you get the wood stain, I'll choose the wallpaper. We're here again. Let's put on our running shoes and stride straight into skipping stones. If you're lucky, folks, you may see a bit of knock knock added. That's a bonus. We're looking after you. We're constantly caring about your televisual entertainment. You're going home, mate. Oh, unlucky. At least he avoided the stones. Oh dear, slipped there. Caught himself tragically. Oh, and again, everyone slipping on that stone. It's not going well. Everyone's slipping on that stone, and he needs a spanner to tighten those nuts. Look at this. Oh, 
gear. <laughs> Look at the face as well. He's got to put more effort in than that, lad. Doesn't want to get his pants dirty, this comedian. Avoiding the slippy one there might prove wise. Let's face it, though, we don't want him to win. He's doing it like a wuss. Mm, that stone moves. He's trying to see which stones are stable, which stones are unstable. I always thought Charlie Watts was the sensible one. Oh. oh, please go in. Please fall in the water. I hate you already. No, don't. If there's a god, this guy won't go through. Oh, that is it. I'm broken hearted. And he knocked on the right door, you wazzik. Ah, well. I was going to say, let's hope he doesn't win, but <laughs> no one ever does. Rock door! <laughs> oh dear. Was that door so wrong or what? Dislocated combobulation. Come on. <laughs> Different kind of a game than the normal skipping stones, this. Everyone taking it up a lot more tentatively. There is knock knock at the end. So getting across the cesspit isn't the end of the game. He looks like a workman in the cesspit checking stools. Look at him. That's a floater. Oh, that's a sinker, mate. <laughs> so is that. All up your trousers, and leg and everything. Go on. Come on, lad. <laughs> what are you doing? Come on, come on. Make a decision, will ya? He's done all right. Now choose a door. Make it the right one. He's through. <laughs> oh, <laughs> unlucky. At least he took it with some gumption and some gumph, some conviction. Ow. You all right? Lost his helmet. Look at this. Lost his footing there, going for the stone, completely missed it, went for a dive instead. Hope the judges give him ten. It was a good effort. Yeah, I know. Apparently he just washed his hair. Oh no, he's looking for his contact lenses. No, that's his dignity, sorry. Come on, come on, come on, and put your back into it, lads. Oh, lands on his spuds. Recovers, though. Ow. No, he's getting back up again. I'm not sure if this is fair. He might go through now, but you know something? Is there any glory in it? <laughs> Gotta see this. My ridiculous replay. I'm not really convinced that this unfortunate really knew what he was supposed to do. He picked up a few grazers on the way back to the funny farm, though. A mere 21 for Dragon Lake. Not an easy game. <laughs> Messy. Oh, 
you have to land on the platform and not knock yourself out on the nose of the god. I assume that is. I sort of idle. All this slurry and sludge, specially shipped in from a pig farm in southern Japan. Oh, well landed! Lands on his rib cage, but he's holding on. Make it back? I don't think so. Oh, if you look closely, you'll see little bits of sweet corn floating in that. It's disgusting. You're out, mate. Oh no! He's got to go all the way back. Gets it in the back and lands on his back. He won't be coming back. He's out. Gets his legs up well. Good landing. Made it look easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Oh, and again, well done. That's how you nail it. Didn't realize Michael Jackson was going to be playing the game, but he is. Oh, oh he lands on his bum. I hope his mum put something biological in the washing machine. You're out, mate. He ended up back where he started. Try again. He's got a pink helmet. <laughs> oh! <laughs> He's got bruised ribs. Oh my good golly. It is just thick with pig stuff in there. Well done, kid. Oh no, the poor lad. Oh, and then he just hits the nose of the idol. And he's nosed out the competition. Sneezed out, we should say. Gets his legs up high enough. Is he a can can girl? He's through. We just do a spot of welding. <laughs> <laughs> what can you say? But goodbye. Like a hippo wallowing in mud there. Time for my ridiculous replay. <laughs> he didn't get his legs up or his bum up. He just went straight into the slurry. Next is Uphill Garden. We are really, really, really losing punters now. Losing contestants. This game's easy. Get up the hill with your ring intact. Easy to describe, that is. Not easy to play. The light mounties the Emerald Guard. They always get there, man. Oh. <laughs> Rolls down the hill and out the game. Gunfight at the OK Corral. He's out. The guard is gone. Keep your head down, mate. Protect you. <laughs> I've heard Thomas the tank engine. He's just Tommy the tank. <laughs> Crank, of course. He's gone. Lost the crankshaft. 
Hey, it's a bouncing bomb! Tommy the tornado! <laughs> Thought he was a patriot. Turned out to be a scud. A scud with skiddies all over his costume. Over the bridge. Ring intact. Water pistol loaded. He's not watering the garden, you know. He means business, this lad. Going for the guard whilst protecting his ring. He's going away from the guard. He's firing back. He's burst that ring. He's left the Emerald Guard with eyes at the back of his head. Must see this clip of one third of the evil triplets. <laughs> Looks like he might have had a few drinks before the important battle. Time now, though, to look back in anger at the furious flashback. See how our smashing, crashing and banging contestants got banged out of the competition. Final showdown, a fearless fivesome crawl out of the kennel and into the back garden where they'll meet General Lee. No supermarket trolleys this time, just the will to survive. Will anyone pass tradition aside? Let's see. No transport, just a drawbridge and a water pistol. They have to get through the guard into the castle, keeping their rings intact. It's easy to say, it's very difficult to do. It's a real gunfight out there. Oh no, the last one goes, it's all over. It looks like the might of the Emerald Guard have done more than enough to protect the castle. Our unhappy hopefuls now make the walk of shame. Back on the bus, lad, back on the bus. Whilst the victorious gloat, no winners this time on Takeshi's castle. But join us again next time when things may be different. I mean, we live in hope. As my old dad used to say, I'll get the fertilizer, you prune the roses. Sayonara. Ooh.